Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 449. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my College website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 440 to 451. Hey, Trick 449 is for my Business 216 class. This is the abbreviated data analysis notes or the cliff notes for data analysis. Now, if you download this, I have some notes over here. We're going to talk about raw data, sort, filter, subtotals, and pivot tables, but it's going to be high speed. I'm literally going to be reading from a list. Now, raw data, you got to have field names at the top of each column. That's number one. Records are in row. That's a record. That's a record. And you have no blanks. No blank field names. No blank columns. No blank rows. And the final thing about your data set, you got to have one complete blank column. And if I control down arrow, one complete blank row. And or you can have your row headers here or column headers, control home to jump up there, to surround the data set. Once you have a data set with those characteristics, you can do sort, filter, subtotals, and pivot tables. On to sort. Sort. The trick to sort as is with filter subtotals and pivot tables, you have to have one cell selected. If you have multiple cells, you get into trouble. One cell, because you have your data set up correctly, it works this way. One cell, I'm going to go to the data ribbon. Actually, why don't I uh, right click unminimize. I'm going to go to the data ribbon. I'm going to click A to Z. And just like that, all the records remain uh, intact, but now they're sorted. Now, if you want to sort on more than one column, you always got to pick the minor and then major. I'm going to pick minor 2, minor 1, and then finally uh, the major sort. So I've sorted the minor one first, and you can have as many as you want. Then I click here, A to Z, and then I click here, A to Z. So now all the chins. That's the major sort. You can see as we go from Amazon to Costco, you can see it's still chin over here, right? And then the next one, they're all sorted. And within these, they're sorted alphabetically. So that is sorting. Now filter, um, let's end this by uh, sorting. Uh, I'm going to sort this column right here, A to Z. So now they're sorted. Filter is kind of similar, but notice that all the records are still showing. Sort just brings the uh, records up to the top. But now let's see what filter does. First, you have to turn on the filter, either this button or Control shift l And then you have these great buttons at top, up at the top. So if I want to filter on sales rep, and I want to uncheck and show only chin, boom, I show only chin. Notice this blue over here means there are hidden rows. So hidden rows. Now, you can have multiple filters. I'm going to come over here to sales, and I'm going to say number filters. You can't see it because it's off the screen here, but I'm going to select uh, greater than or equal to. And I can say greater than or equal to, and I'm going to say 8,500. So there we have, uh, let's change that. Let's go to uh, number filters greater than or equal to, and let's say 9,000. Okay, that's still a lot of records. All right, now I want to copy and paste these. Control C, I mean, sorry, Control asterisk to highlight the whole table. And when you copy, notice that the dancing ants are moving around what is called visible cells. So filtering, when you copy a filtered data set, it automatically knows that you want to copy only the visible records, because there's lots of hidden ones. And then you can paste it wherever you want. I'm going to click Escape. And I'm going to click, if you want to get rid of all the filters, you click there. If you want to turn off the filter, just boom, like that. Now subtotals. Subtotals, first thing, and if you go over and look at that uh, notes I have there, you got to sort first. Now, I want subtotals on sales rep and on region. I'm going to sort the minor field first. So I'm going to click A to Z. Zoop. And then I'm going to click the major sort, A to Z. Zoop. So now I have Midwest, Midwest, Midwest. And then you can see it's called the major sort because all of the Midwests are together. And then within the next field, those are sorted. Now. Minor and then major for sorting. It's the reverse order for subtotals. You have to add your subtotals to the Midwest and then 
to the major sort and then the minor sort. So I'm going to, and actually it doesn't matter where you click, I'm going to go to data, outline, and then subtotals. There's three parts at each change in. That means where there's a break between Midwest and the next region, that's the at change in, and that's where the uh, row will be inserted and the function will be uh, calculated. So I'm going to stay within region. I'm going to use the sum function. There's 11 of them here you can choose. And then I'm going to click Sales, click OK. Totally amazing. Now I have these outlines, and I can click 2, and sure enough, I have my outlines over here. Now when you uh, copy a subtotal table like this, when you control C, you can see that the uh, dancing ants are not going around the visible records. There's lots of things hidden here. Uh, or this is called collapsed, not hidden. Um, and so you have to do something different. I'm going to hit F5. F5 is the go-to. Then I'm going to click Special. Then I'm going to click, ooh, Visible Cells Only. And just like that, you can kind of see that the Visible Cells Only are highlighted. And now when you hit Control-C, it um, highlights or copies just the cells that are visible. There is a keyboard shortcut. If I escape and highlight just this, Alt semicolon, that's alt semicolon, is the keyboard shortcut for visible cells only, and then control C. So that's alt, A-L-T, and then the semicolon. All right, uh, let's add one more level of uh, subtotals. We did the major sort, now let's do the minor sort. I'm going to go up to uh, subtotals. The big trick, and if you read that handout off to the side, it says in big, bold, and letters, you got to be sure and uncheck this when you do your second or third subtotal. So I'm going to say uncheck that right there. And now I'm going to go up to region and I want sales rep. Sales rep. Now I'll add a level, sum on sales, click OK. So now there'll be four over here. It's taking a long time here. And sure enough, um, now when I go to 3, I can see there's the Midwest total. That's the only thing we had before. But now within that, there's each one of the uh, sales rep and their totals for that region. Now how do you get rid of all the subtotals? The nice thing about the subtotals, you can just get rid of them. Go up to Outline, Subtotals, Remove All. And so you now you're da back to your original data set. Now we're going to do uh, two things for, actually three things for a pivot table. I'm going to show you really why uh, pivot tables are so much better because that subtotal gets a little bit confusing in the order you have to sort and then have to subtotal. But you do got to have to know how to do that because sometimes uh, you know, people in interviews say, ah, but do you know how to subtotal? Well, yeah, sure, but once I get the job, I'm going to show you how to do pivot tables. All right, click in one cell. That's the same for all these data analysis features. And now we're going to do pivot tables. Insert, pivot tables, pivot table. And then I'm going to select uh, New Sheet, and then click OK. Now remember, uh, just a moment ago, uh, we had, and I should uh, collapse this right here, minimize. Uh, there's a keyboard shortcut, but it turns off my uh, video recorder. I have my settings to show what it looks like in 2003 here. I'm going to right click. Pivot Table Options. I'm going to go to Display, and I'm going to say Classic, uncheck that. And now it looks like uh, 2007. Two th earlier versions, you have to drag these to the, uh, the sheet. But here it is, 2007. I'm going to try and make that same subtotal. Remember, region was on top, so now I'm going to go down to the row. And then sales reps were uh, below the rows. And just like that, I have uh, my uh, setup. And now I'm going to click my sales and drag them to the values. It's really that simple. If you want to format this, you could right click and you have to go to Value Field Settings. By the way, that's where you can change the functions. I'm going to click Number Format. I'm going to click on uh, accounting, and I'm going to say show no dollar signs. I want all the decimals to be lined up. Click OK. OK. So that is one uh, pivot table uh, done exactly like the subtotals. Now, to do a pivot table where you have these variables over here, and then they're not listed multiple times like this, you could see just the table format or uh, ta uh, 
tabular calculation. I'm going to come down here to the sales rep and click and drag and come up to columns. I like that way much better, just like that. All right, so the pivot table, that's why it's called a pivot table, because you can easily pivot. Hey, what happened to my field list there? I need it. I'm going to right click, show field list. Now, one more uh, really cool trick, and this is probably one of the, the, the best tricks there is in uh, Excel. I'm going to uncheck all of these, and it has to do with dates. I'm going to drag the dates down to the row labels. And you have transactional data. You know, when you get data dumps from databases or wherever you get this data dump, it's usually transactional data. Here's the th business things that happen on these days, and you want to group them. There's lots of ways to group things in Excel. The pivot table grouping option is the easiest amongst all of them. I'm going to right click, go down to group. Now, if you're going to group months, if you want weeks, you got to go to days, you can type in seven, but months, you got to be careful because we could have multiple years here. So I always start off by going months and years. And you can see up here that we span a few years. If you don't do years, then all the Januarys are put together, and that's probably not what you want. Click OK. That is profound. Now what do you do? You drag your sales down to the values. And just like that, you have grouped by date and sh showed all the sum of all the sales. Um, Notice that there is this years over here. So it used to be just date, but when we group by year, there's a year. When you ungroup, you can right click ungroup if you needed to, uh, then that goes away. But watch this. You can actually take this years right here and move it over to the column. Oh, that is, that is just great. Uh, you can also, um, I'm going to put it back down here. Uh, one last thing, this report filter right here, you could actually drag the uh, report, the years up here, and it will only show you, uh, depending on the report filter up here, whatever one you select. So I'm going to say 2005. Now I'm going to drag this, or, or 2006. I'm going to drag this years back down here. And we'll show you one last report filter. You can drag the region down here. And what does a report filter do? They named it kind of smartly the report filter. It means we can filter out. And actually, in 2007, you have the option for this button here, select multiple items. But we don't really want I'm just going to select Midwest and then click OK. It shows you just the Midwest. So I could come up here. Actually, this is fine. Then you can just check and uncheck whatever you want north. And it shows you just that. All right, uh, that's a little abbreviated um, data analysis cliff notes uh, before the test coming up this Thursday. All right, we'll see you next trick.